jazz is not only a musical genre, it's a language that transcends cultures and continents. And each year that creativity and diversity is celebrated across the world on International Jazz Day. To mark the occasion, Cuba hosted an all-star concert while Lebanon put on a show of its own. Take a listen. It would be impossible to sit still at an event like this. Musicians from around the world gathered for UNESCO's International Jazz Day concert, which was held in Cuba for the first time. Its capital, Havana, was chosen in honor of the island's thriving jazz scene. Actor Will Smith and record producer Quincy Jones were also jamming it up. Mm -hmm. That's all my Spanish. <laughs> jazz has been the voice of freedom for millions of people for, for all ages, ethnicities, and beliefs because it penetrates to the human soul and connects to the spirit of humanity. From Russia to South Korea, the night was a truly international affair, including a joint number by Cuban musicians Chucho Valdez and Gonzalo Rubalcaba. Grammy Award-winning artists Herbie Hancock and Marcus Miller also hit the stage together. Tonight, Havana is, without a doubt, the most vibrant, alive, and spirited place on the planet. And all the way across the world, Beirut hosted an event that, although not quite as big, was just as lively. The festival lasted three days, bringing in jazz fans from across the region. We come every year to the jazz event. It's one of the greatest events that happens in Beirut. It's great to know there is jazz in Lebanon, and there are jazz musicians in Lebanon. Like you see, it's a very nice atmosphere. Hopefully every year we'll have this event. After more than a century, jazz continues to prove it's the universal language of cool that can uplift millions.